Welcome, my friends. Today, we're going to take a look at how to fly that blasted gyrocopter. It's a question that comes up, uh, I guess, surprisingly often in seven days to die. And it actually came up in the last couple of weeks as well. And I thought it's been quite a while since I've done a gyrocopter video. So let me go through how you actually control it so you can fly it. Because once you learn how to control it, it's actually a really, really good vehicle for traveling across the, the map with. And if you find this useful, make sure you like the video and maybe subscribe to my channel as well. So the first thing is that make sure that you have fuel. Open up, make sure it's got refueled. It doesn't have to be 100%. It has to be something. Otherwise, you have no fuel, which means you can't actually fly. It is actually the fastest vehicle at 15 meters per second. And of course, you might want to repair it and uh, use the repair kits for that. I don't have any on me, but you know, keep it in good shape. So the standard default settings is actually within the controls. You go to vehicles and forward, left, turbo, hop, Hong Kong, uh, all these things that you can actually change. But I'm going to go with what's default because I don't really normally change it. So hit E to interact to go into the gyrocopter. Now, what you should keep in mind is that there are two control schemes with the gyrocopter like with all vehicles. One is that you will go towards where you are aiming. So if I turn the... A little bit like this and this only applies if you're on the ground which is why it's a little bit weird uh, if you left click then basically regardless of how i have the camera it's going to go straight and you use a and d to turn left and to turn right normally what i would recommend left click your button so that you are in this scheme because if you have it sort of to go towards where you're pointing it will only apply on the ground which makes it a little bit weird when you then get into the air so cl click that left button and the gyrocopter is not a helicopter. It's not. It has to have forward momentum. It does have some lift and everything. But what you do, W will go forward. S will slow it down. Not that it really makes a big difference. Now you have two additional keys that are really, really important. And that is F for light. It's kind of dark here, so it doesn't matter. X for that really bad horn. But space and C. What does space and C do? Well, you're not hopping or anything, but it's crucial. So what space will do is that it will lift the nose of the gyrocopter upwards, which means that you will tend to go upwards. C will point to downwards, and together that's how you manage your elevation. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to hold W, I'm going to get a little bit of speed here, and then I'm going to tap the space button just slightly to make sure I get a little bit of elevation. So W gets on speed, going to tap the space button a little bit. You'll see I'm tilting upwards, upwards, upwards. And look at this. I'm flying, flying. I'm not tapping the space button anymore because it's already upwards. If I tap it upwards even more, 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 you see it goes even further. And then you bring it down with C. Right? Seems pretty straightforward. I am still holding W because if I stop holding W, you'll hear the motor slows down. And then I will start falling to the ground as gravity takes over. So make sure you hit that uh, W pretty much all the time as you're flying. If you stop, you're going to be plummeting down to the ground. Now, if I hit C, I can point myself really far down and crash. So be a little bit careful about that because it takes a while to recover from a dive down. And you have to do that by pointing your, your nose upwards with space. Now, if you notice, I'm actually turning right using D. I'm turning left using A, just like you do with any vehicle. And I'm adjusting my elevation or my pointing a little bit by using C for down and space for going upwards. So once you're flying, try to level off a little bit so that you're not pointing either up or down. And then just try to run, uh, go around a little bit. Go A, go D, get comfortable with it. Tilt your nose up a little bit, you gain a little bit of elevation. Tilt the CC downwards just to go down a little bit, just to sort of get used to it. It's good to practice flying like in any vehicle. You know, you don't necessarily need a license, but the gyrocopter takes a little bit more practice and just learn of sort of how it feels, how long it takes to recover from if you are pointing the nose downwards versus upwards and how it actually works that way because it's going to save your life later on. So what happens if you point the nose straight up? Well, let me do that. You'll see I am effectively going backwards a little bit and falling down because I have no forward momentum. So I need to bring down the nose a little bit 
and now I'm crashing almost and I'm gonna speed up a little bit here and like any vehicles if you hold shift you're actually speeding up it's sort of like you're doing this sprinting just like you're doing when you're running you're hitting that turbo boost and that makes you go a little bit faster it does drain the fuel additional though if you point C all the way down you're going to be doing a nose dive, which can be really, really painful. So avoid doing that. You see, even now trying to recover, it takes a while and I overcompensated and oh, perfect landing. Right, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that, that's definitely what I was trying to do. One thing to keep in mind, the rotors can actually hit the tree. See if I can hit this one. There you go. I hit the tree. So if you're driving into a forest, you actually can hit it and that might bring you down to the ground, which can be a little bit painful if there's a lot of zombies below you. So let's say you want to come in for a landing. What's the best way of doing? Well, what I normally do, I try to get down a little bit towards the ground. Tap W a little bit to make sure that you have a little bit of momentum, that you have a little bit of power, because without the power, you're just going to plummet downwards. Then you just sort of adjust. You see, you space a little bit of the power, a little bit of power. You can throttle back a little bit with S if you want to, and then just slowly, slowly glide down. And we should be setting down here perfectly in front of savage country so one good reason for using the jar drop is because it's really fast so going cross country is very effective another one is actually getting to access pretty easily to some of these top oh can i yes i got it uh, some of these top looting boxes pretty easily you can go up here do your looting it could be a little bit careful if you wake anything up because once you're done uh, you can pick up your vehicle again Set it down when it's flat and just drive off and you are good to go having looted the PI without having fought any of the zombies. One thing to keep in mind though, if you are during a Blood Moon Horde, well, you will have a really bad time like with any vehicle, probably worse. Uh, they will spawn a lot of the, <laughs> unfortunately, the vultures and the vultures will be coming after you and you will not be able to avoid them. And even worse, uh, because you see they're coming here. It's really difficult to see where you are and they will stop you. And then once they bring you down, eventually that will happen and you'll be down on the ground. You will have them still swarming you and all the rest of the zombies might be getting you as well. So it's really, really tough. So don't go out flying during the Blood Moon Horde as they work worst thing you can do because I don't think you can survive it. I've tried this so many times even in some videos before and I'm trying to desperately get out of this this vulture horde here but it's not gonna work. They are so much faster than I am and that's it. You're gonna die so don't go flying when it's a really nice red. And lastly a tip that I cannot stress enough. Be careful about hitting that E button because E will exit you out of the vehicle and if you're really quick you actually can get back into the gyrocopter that can save your life because if you miss it well what's going to happen is that you will take a flight or oh, actually a fall down and that's really painful. So don't do that. Keep you stay away from that E key. But that really is about it. Just go and practice your flying. If you have a little bit of flat area, such as in the desert, it can be a little bit easier. Practice that C in a space just to tilt up and tilt down. Make sure you hold that throttle with W and just practice flying around. Practice taking off, practice landing and practice not crashing. A very good tip for using it is to carry around, for instance, your 4x4 or a motorcycle. Use your gyrocopter to get to where you want to go, pick it up and use the other vehicle for driving around. Because while the gyrocopter is really good for long distance flying and getting up to elevations, it's not really as good when you're just trying to drive around town, for instance. And with that, make sure you've hit that little like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedit community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.